This video is brought to you by Sayorite. Visit Sayorite.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. In this short video, we'll demonstrate the SnapRite Fastener Cloth to Cloth Set. This is a stainless steel snap. What is cloth to cloth? Well, it's one snap in a fabric assembly that snaps to another snap in a fabric assembly. The SnapRite system features a set of four dies that work with a standard riveting gun to install snaps. These are the recommended tools for installing the SnapRite snaps. Now let's demonstrate using these tools to install the SnapRite snaps. The SnapRite button die is screwed on to a standard riveting tool. Insert a mandrel through the bottom of the socket die. To help aid us in holding the die in place, we'll use the Sayrite cutting block and die holder and press the die into the cavity. Taking a stainless steel socket snap, we will place it over the mandrel and then push it firmly on top of the die. Now we take our fabric assembly and we push the mandrel through the fabric assembly where we want the snap installed. If you don't have a solid work surface, you can use the Sayrite cutting block and die holder and still be able to push the mandrel through the fabric assembly. The stainless steel snap right button is pushed onto the die. The rubber o-ring holds it in place. Slide the center of the barrel over top of the mandrel. While keeping the nose of the riveting tool up against the fabric assembly, Depress the lever, then fully open the lever and repeat the process until a firm feel is felt. The mandrel does not necessarily need to break. Then open the handles fully and pull the riveting gun off the mandrel. The stainless steel snap right button and socket are now installed. Now we'll remove the socket die and place a mandrel in the eyelet die. Do you need the Sayrite cutting block and die holder? No, it can actually be done without that, but it is an aid in holding the dies in place as you push the fabric over the mandrel. After installing this snap, we'll show using the dies without it. The eyelet has been placed over top of the mandrel and onto that die, and we remove the button die, and now we install the stud die into the riveting tool. Here is our fabric assembly. We will push the mandrel through the fabric assembly right where we want that stud and eyelet installed. Once it's pushed through, we'll take a stud and press it onto the stud die. A rubber o-ring holds the stud in place. Then we run the mandrel up through the center of the stud and the die. Again, keeping the nose up against the fabric assembly, depress and fully open the lever until a firm feel is accomplished. The snap stud is held firmly into the die, so you will have to pull up with some force to remove the die and the riveting tool. Now our snap right cloth to cloth stainless steel snaps are installed in both fabric assemblies. We do recommend using the Sayrite cutting block and die holder as a helpful aid, but it's really not necessary. Here the socket die is just sitting on a table. We can still push our fabric assembly over top of the mandrel at the location where we want the snap installed. However, when not using the Sayrite cutting block and die holder, it is necessary to lift the fabric assembly off the table and place a finger on the underside to lift or push the mandrel up into the jaws of the riveting tool. Now the riveting tool can grip the mandrel and set the snap. You can purchase a complete set of the SnapRite Fastener Cloth to Cloth Set Stainless Steel Snaps at Sayorite. These are the tools that we demonstrated. They are the most popular tools to install the SnapRite Fastener Cloth to Cloth Set Stainless Steel. If you have any questions, be sure to contact Sayorite. We're glad to help. Thanks for watching.